Hello, my name is Angie Tiza, and this video will provide you with an overview of the Document and Policy Manager Publishing Portal. ComplyTrack offers a publishing portal for customers who have purchased the Document Manager module. After a document has been published in Document Manager, you have the option to also publish it to the portal by clicking on the Post-it button. A window will appear asking you to choose a collection, and then you select Post-it. The Post-it button sends the document into a queue for publication to the publishing portal and a confirmation message will be displayed. It will be available on the portal within two hours. This is only available for documents that were created using the internal or external editor type. Documents created using the form designer cannot be sent to the portal. Those are instead sent to the incident reporter. Documents created using the external editor are published in whatever format they are in. Additionally, for Word documents, an option is available to automatically convert the document to a PDF by checking the PDF to portal checkbox. If you check the PDF to portal checkbox, you will also be given a choice to check the Apply Final Changes checkbox. If you check the Apply Final Changes checkbox, then ComplyTrack will tell Word to accept all changes made to the document before converting it to a PDF and sending it to the portal. If you do not check the Apply Final Changes checkbox, then ComplyTrack will tell Word to reject all changes made to the document before converting it to a PDF and sending it to the portal. Either way, the original published Word document will not be modified and all track changes modifications will be preserved in the original document. Published documents are fully indexed and searchable by any combination of words and phrases. Documents are organized into a table of contents, which takes the organizational structure from the hierarchy established in Document Manager. Organization and entity must be set. If they are not, you will get prompted to set them after clicking on the Post-it button. A default name of policies and procedures is given to electronic collections of documents published on a portal site. This default collection name can be modified by any user who has been given the status of editor on the portal. Optionally, the published date may be included in the footer or header of the document upon adding it to the portal site. This can be enabled by an administrator on your ComplyTrack site under Application Settings. Access to your portal site can be set to authenticate by IP address. IP address authentication means that any user on your network will be able to access documents published on the portal without the need to log in using a username and password. The set of IP addresses for your facility can be added very quickly to a newly created portal site. It can be easily changed at any time by contacting MediReg support. To begin adding your IP addresses, click Tools and Support, then select Admin, scroll down, and select Go next to Manage IP Access. Enter in the range of your IP addresses and select Add. In addition to IP access for all specified machines in your internal network, there's an option to set up login accounts for individual users. The advantages of having login accounts are the user will be able to access your portal from anywhere outside your network, and the user will have access to bookmarks and stored searches on the portal. To create a new user in the system, select Tools and Support, then select Admin, enter the new user's email address, and select Go. Enter in all the required information. Fields with an asterisk are not required. Once you've entered all the required information, scroll down and select Submit. To remove a document from the portal, select Unpost It and select OK. When you select Archive or Post a New Version, your document will also be removed from the portal. This concludes the overview of the Document and Policy Manager Publishing Portal. Thank you for your time.